Spotlight Block One, and we have invited three CEOs to share their experience and to speak on what they consider are the traits essential for leaders keen to establish their businesses for long term. Can we hear from you, Puan Saliza? Thank you, Peggy, um, C, and everyone in the audience. Thank you so much to Perdana Leadership Foundation for inviting me to be part of this program. Um, so as you mentioned, um, we are now uh, basically a, a multi-award winning integrated one-stop security and safety solutions provider advocating sustainability and impact. How we started was way back in 1992 when my late mother, the business founder, decided to start a very conventional, traditional physical guarding services. And I joined in 2001 upon my graduation from Purdue. I actually did electrical engineering, so not related to what I'm doing right now. Out of love and commitment um, to support the family business. I'm the youngest in my family. Uh, two of my elder sisters decided that they didn't want to be part of this not so, uh, you know, interesting labor intensive physical guarding services but i decided that you know um if not me who else is going to be able to support the family business so in 2001 i forgo the opportunity of joining the corporate sector and i've been with the company ever since it's just that looking at the growth yeah and understanding that um as a business to prosper the business needs to remain relevant. It cannot be complacent in doing what it's been doing for the last you know, 10 years or 20 years. Creativity and innovation is an important aspect in terms of uh, taking the business to the next level. So that's when, uh, upon joining in 2001, in 2006, oh, sorry, 2008, um, as a company, we decided to restructure the business and set up BG Capital Holdings Group of companies. So from a traditional security services, we are now uh, doing risk management, uh, training, consultancy, cyber security, information security, um, AI surveillance, uh, incorporating drone technology, as well as having a chain of event community space located in Subanjaya, Alusa in Johor, whereby we organize a series of community and women empowerment program. Because we are 100% women in a very much male-dominated industry, so we are very passionate in terms of empowering women and turning um, you know, this industry into an industry that is suitable for professionals as well as women uh, to enter and have a good career. So that's how we started and that's where we are right now. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay, calculated risk. I hear you need know-how and you need to be a good planner. It is know-how that is lacking, like what Dr. Surani has said. We lack the know-how. So if you don't have the know-how, what do you do? I Google. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not only Google, yeah. YouTube. I mean, actually, seriously, there's so much that we need to learn, okay? So, obviously, there are some bankers here. I think some of them are my customers. But anyway, just to let you know, but, uh, one of our banks last time was saying that, okay, we need a debt collection system, but it needs to be handling this uh, FRS 139 and all that. And seriously, at that time, I really have no idea what it was. But now, if you ask me, actually, I know a lot already. So, you know, you, know, you Google, get consultants and all this kind of stuff. So, by the time I go for the meeting, they say, wow, you're just so knowledgeable. I said, thank you. Of course, I didn't say that Mr. Google helped me yesterday. Uh. <laughs> so, I think, it, no, but I think it is so important for us to actually embrace knowledge and really be resourceful and say that we actually really want to learn. You know, now, I, I will say in the fintech world, all right, there's blockchain, uh, Web 3.0. There's so many things coming our way. And it's not whether you want to adopt it or not. But if you do not know what is coming your way, then you don't know what's the competition, what's going to be uh, happening in the future. The other thing that we do is that we invest in research. You know, there's this company called Gartner. Like they, like, they are charging us like maybe 300 or 1,000 ringgit a seat a year for one person, example. And... Um, we do actually invest in some of these things because they have like thousands of researchers and we have access to knowledge. They will tell us a prediction and it changes the way you approach the future because you are interested in knowledge. And, and the other thing, of course, this knowledge allows you to grow as an entrepreneur. The minute you stop growing, your staff and, the, and everyone that is following your direction will also stop growing because they are using us as role models. 